Redbeard is about to try his first ever beer by the Church Key Brewing Company. Sure, why not? What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Northumberland Ale by the Church Key Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. Whoever put the label on that bottle did a pretty piss poor job. And there's nothing on this, pretty much, but it's supposed to be purchased as a six pack. I kind of have friends at the LCBO that occasionally allow me to buy singles of things you're not supposed to get singles of. So I have the website up here, and I'm going to be able to read what is probably on the six pack itself so you know let's kind of see if we oh that was a good one let's crack her open let's see what we've got let's see if i can do this without spilling any like i did with that damn ipa last time that was terrible oh this looks really nice Ooh. that has got a really really pretty color to it yeah, as always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beer loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, quite clear. A little tiny bit of a haze to it, but I don't know. I, nice carbonation, apparently. When... A little bit of a different smell. I'm not really sure. Let's give her a shot. Not a whole lot of flavor at all. <clears throat> a little bit, though, that's... The little bit of flavor that is there is acceptable. Not bad. Okay. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Very drinkable. I can't deny that. Just not a whole lot of flavor presence whatsoever. Very, very light. What is this? 5%. I can see it there. I don't even know what it says on there, regardless. Yeah. It's not bad. <sighs> Sorry, trying to find my cursor. There we go. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm so good at being prepared. Today being December 6th, on this date in 1768, the first edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica was published. And for a hell of a long time, that was, like, the world's foremost kind of set of books that you could have that would encompass the most amount of knowledge kind of thing. And now Google exists. I don't think that it even exists, the Encyclopedia Britannica, anymore as something that you can purchase. I don't know why you'd even want to, because... They used to update it like every year, so you'd have to like buy the newer versions of it and it's stupid expensive. On this date in 1897, London became the first city to host licensed taxicabs. Good for them. I myself hate public transportation. I get the appeal of it, the whole, you know, go green and blah blah blah, but I will walk from one side of my city to the other side of my city before I take a cab or a bus. I just don't like it. It is what it is. In 1907, a coal mine explosion at Mono, West Virginia killed 362 workers. Mind-blowing how many big industrial-type accidents have happened in the States throughout its history. 
Lots of them. Nothing bad about it. Sorry, something possibly in my eye. Again. Oh, always happens in the middle of a goddamn vlog. So, like I said before, I have the uh, web page open here with what I believe would be written on the six pack and what could be on the bottle or whatever if it was sold in singles. Our original and flagship pours a nice deep golden amber color. I wouldn't really call that a deep amber color, it's more of a bright amber color. It has a sweet toasted malt aroma with a honey-like tone and earthy, a earthy character. That should say an earthy character. And a fresh water note to it. This ale is light bodied and well balanced. This stock style ale, modeled after those popular in Eastern Ontario in the 1940s and 50s, is quite dry at first before sweetened toasted malt comes through on the tongue. That makes it sound like it has a lot more going on than it does. Like I say, it's not bad, it's just not anything overly exciting at all. And there's no date on here. I don't know if there would have been a date on the six pack. Maybe it sat in the LCBO for a little bit before I picked it up, and maybe it's not so fresh. Perhaps it's supposed to taste just a little bit different? Hmm? Maybe? On this date in 1947, the Everglades National Park in Florida was dedicated. Blah, blah, blah. Dedicated. Yeah, and now it's just slowly shrinking as Florida expands into it. And it's pretty really shitty. On the state in 1967, Adrian Kantrowitz performed the first human heart transplant in the United States. Good on you. Be something, I don't know, I just, it'd be weird to have a part of somebody else in you. Just seems weird. I don't know. <sighs> Absolutely acceptable beer. Definitely. Or just kind of a. It's another one of those. I say this quite often with beers like this, but this is a decent transition type beer. If you are the kind of person that drinks beer by the big. Imbev, Anheuser-Busch, fucking assholes that own everything, and you want to maybe funnel your your money, your hard-earned money, into some local, you know, some, some support local, not Budweiser and those bastards. And finally, on this date in 1989, the Ecole Polytechnic, Polytechnic, yes, massacre, or called the Montreal massacre took place at Ecole Polytechnique. I can't speak French. Marc Lepine, an anti-feminist gunman, murdered 14 young women at that school in Montreal. One of a small number of school shootings that have occurred here in Canada compared to the I don't even know how many numbers that have occurred in the States. But, you know, in honor of those 14 poor young ladies that lost their lives at the hands of an asshole. You kill people, you're an asshole. <laughs> Not in, unless you're like, you know, defending yourself against someone who wants to kill you, then that person's... The, but, you know, don't kill people. Drink number the last. <coughs> Church Key Brewing, your Northumberland Ale rating. 
I didn't get any ingredients on the website there, and I don't know if they would have been on the box. I'm going to give it a six and a half. Would have been like maybe a seven and a half or an eight, but you get a little bit of a dock for that. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. And thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! That's like three days in a row that I've recorded very reasonably short vlogs. After that ridiculously long Saturday cherry cider one that I did but hey th there was much to be learned in that vlog or something <laughs>